Okay, happy garagers. AC work again. I did a condenser on this truck. The condenser lives in front of the radiator behind your grill. That's the condenser. So I replaced that because the old one was leaking. Uh, did the refrigerant charge with the uh, the stuff, the refrigerant that uh, my neighbor provided, which was this Arctic Freeze. It's got to make it colder, right? I always do that. Uh, there's there's a couple problems with this. Um, it has stop leak in there, and it has some oil in it. Right? So it's got the cool boost additive, which is not refrigerant. Uh, it's got leak sealer, which is not refrigerant. And uh, probably, probably a little bit of oil. Uh, again, it's not refrigerant. AC needs refrigerant to work properly. 134 or 1234 or whatever your system uses. It needs that to work properly. You see, uh, he provided me with that stuff and he wasn't happy with how cool the vents were. Uh, I, I was happy with my, my gauges when the, when the truck left, but because he wasn't happy with the, the temperature of the vents, uh, he just, he added more of this. I added the specified 24 ounces of refrigerant, as you can see right there. Well, of whatever this is, it's probably like 10 ounces of refrigerant and 2 ounces of crap. So, there was that issue. He overcharged it. So, I, I pulled it down with my machine. I have a old, old machine. Uh, I think it maybe leaks a little, but it ain't bad. It's good enough for recovery um, and that the scales work fine. So yeah, I pulled uh, the equivalent of one of these cans additional uh, out of the system. Uh, which the overcharge condition was making it not cool effectively. Uh, if you think about the, the AC system and you kind of stack these pieces vertically, all right? So you have your condenser, your lines, and your evaporator. Uh, if you take your condenser and you go okay when it's fully charged that entire condenser is expelling all the energy because that's how the AC system works uh, the condenser expels the energy uh, from the pressure and the condenser or th the evaporator inside the dash um, uh, draws in the energy making it feel cool that's how it works so if you think, if you stack those vertically, you know, condenser and evaporator, and you, you have a perfectly balanced system where evaporator is, is expelling energy and, you know, it's going through lines and then evaporator is drawing it in. Uh, when you overfill it, you're now moving that, that line, right? So now... All the energy expelled is not in the condenser. The evaporator is trying to expel some as well. That's like a super layman term of what is happening when you overcharge AC. Back to the subject of the AC doesn't feel cool. Even though it was, was fully charged uh, with this... Uh, which is not 100% refrigerant, it's got other things. So like I said in the beginning, it needs refrigerant to work. If you're adding oil, oil is not refrigerant. Um, it will reduce the effective, the efficiency of your system. There's a balance 
So yeah, over oil means system's not efficient. The most efficient AC systems run at about 35 degrees below ambient temperature at the AC duct. This is important, happy garagers. If it's 97 degrees outside and this duct is blowing 35 degrees below that, you've got 62 degree air coming out of here. That's what these uh, max AC and recirculate buttons are. So instead of taking the fresh 97, 98 degree air from outside there, which might be hotter because of a sun load and who knows what um, you recirculate the air so you're recirculating the temperature that's inside the vehicle so you can get that 50 40 degree air out of the vents that you couldn't if you didn't have that button so anyway, that's what I've got. I hope y'all have learned a little bit. And as always, happy garaging.